I also have this hat, which is like so cute and on brand. <gasps> it's really cute, but I know it's going to annoy me if I keep it on for the whole video. But do you not like my unicorn hat? So cute. Hi everyone! Or should I say, hello my ho ho hoes. Don't be mad at me, it's literally what the sign says. It's what the sign says. And if you're here watching this video, you are probably looking for some inspiration for some holiday books to add to your TBR for this year. Now, I just wanna make a disclaimer. Last year on my TikTok, I did a whole like, I feel like it must have been over a week. I feel like I read a good amount of holiday romance books and I realized that like, not all holiday books are for me. There was a very slim amount of books that I really like, genuinely loved and had a good time with and those were um, Window Shopping by Tessa Bailey, Jingle Wars who I can't even remember who it's by but if you look up Jingle Wars it'll be there and then Royal Holiday by Jasmine Guillory like literally those were the only books out of the like seven plus that I read slash listened to that I enjoyed. I just think traditionally published Christmas books maybe are not for me. Actually I'm excited for my TBR for this year because it is mostly books that you can find on like KU, a lot more like spicy holiday novellas which is what I like. Like Window Shopping by Tessa Bailey is a really like short and quick spicy little book and it just mwah, it hit the spot. Jingle Wars had great spice in it also. So really just this Christmas <laughs> for my December TBR and who knows maybe I'll read some of these at the end of November but I'm thinking more December. We're just spicy Christmas. Fun, fast paced, hopefully spicy little Christmas romances. Some of these books are by authors who I already know and love. A lot of them are actually to authors who are new to me, so I am very excited. I feel like it makes most sense to just start with the physical books that I have right here on hand. These are the ones that are on the TBR for this year, so 100% let's start with the physical book that I'm reading. No doubt about it, it's happening. It might be one of my first reads and that is Tis the Season for Revenge by Morgan Elizabeth. Guys, I am so happy that this book is having a moment and that Morgan is having a moment. I'm gonna specifically say on TikTok, a lot of really popular accounts are reading it, recommending it, making multiple videos about it. I'm seeing videos go viral because Morgan is actually one of my book pals. She is like a day one person from my like TikTok and I have actually done work for Morgan. I have talked to her like in-depthly like on Zoom calls and stuff. Um, she is lovely. She is so nice. I have also read her book The X-Files which she, which she sent to me and I loved it. It was short to the point like a really good grumpy sunshine and her spice is so good. Her books are also so short and like to the point like Morgan gets it and this book she sent to me in a wonderful PR package and she was like Kelly you specifically need this book because guess what this book is inspired by. Look at the cover, take a guess, maybe all the pink. This book is inspired by Legally Blonde which you know if you can't tell by my pink aesthetic and everything if you haven't noticed any of the art in the background of my tiktoks on my wall i love legally blonde it is my all-time favorite movie Elle woods raised me and this book is about i don't know the main girl's name what is it abby um this is where she has a like terrible ex-boyfriend you know kind of like the l and warner situation he breaks up with her and she's like you know what at this holiday party my date is going to be your boss so her revenge on her horrible ex is to literally date his boss and that is i'm telling you morgan wrote this book for me I am so excited. Again, I've heard such great reviews. I'm so, I'm like so, so happy. Um, I know I'm going to love this. Again, the setup is incredible. I know the spice is going to be good. And I'm just ready to read about a girly girl who gets revenge on her ex with an older man. Like, please! Like, this book, it was made for me. So please add this to your Christmas TBRs if you haven't yet. Please read stuff from Morgan Elizabeth. Her books are available on KU as well. She's wonderful.
Hi Morgan, she's probably not gonna watch this, but I love you. Okay, so that book is the definite physical book that is happening. These ones I'm gonna put in the maybe pile. Um, if there's one that like I would probably get to after the Morgan one, it is this book called um, Scrooging Christmas. Now, this book is by Sarah Reddy. I have never read anything from this author before. Um, the cover is really cute, like a really cute little um, cartoon cover. This was sent to me by a PR company and it's just nice and short. And again, I've never read anything by this author. I've never seen anyone recommend anything by this author. So this is a, I believe, enemies to lover situation. It says professional holiday decorator, Natalie loves tinsel okay so she's one of those like people who love christmas that's why like me and christmas books so hit or miss i have to like like the main character um okay and then he's like a scrooge so it seems like an opposite to track situation okay when gabe threatens to evict natalie and her neighbors on christmas she does what any right-minded christmas lover would do okay she, oh she has to help the guy discover the magic of christmas in two days I don't know if this is going to be spicy it just it seems like it just may be like a cute little christmas rom-com but listen maybe i'll be in the mood for it and if it sounds like anything that appeals to you this literally sounds like a hallmark movie in a book okay so that's scrooging christmas i don't know if it's available on k i don't know if it's available on kindle unlimited it might be so you may want to check that out again how long is it yeah it like is right under 300 pages so you know what we'll see if i'm in the mood for a hallmark movie and a book maybe i'll pick this up now these next two books did i buy because of the covers yeah 100 percent. look at them look at them they're pink they're pink christmas books i need more pink christmas books okay i love this um so the first one that i picked up is called the summer of christmas this is by juliette G Giglio and Keith Giglio oh is it by like a husband and wife duo that's very cute um so this book I actually read the back when I was in Barnes Noble and I got it has to do with a girl who where like her life gets turned into like a movie so it says like Ivy Green receives the opportunity of a lifetime when her screenplay based on her first love high school sweetheart who broke up with her before Christmas is chosen to be made into a movie yeah that's what it is and then obviously she reconnects with that ex i guess so i guess it's like a second chance romance seems to be small town um i don't know if it's going to be like spicy or anything but it just seems really cute i mean i like the setup of like you know i like a second chance romance um i like the setup that it's like hollywood um so you know am i gonna get to it who knows maybe but again, I'm happy I own it and I, and I probably will never get rid of it because the cover is so cute. Like that is literally precious. I can't wait to take an Instagram picture with all of my pink Christmas books. <laughs> all right. And then finally, we have um, There's Something About Mary. Now, how freaking cute is that? Um, this is by Cody Hall. And I think Cody Hall has another Christmas book that maybe came out last year that I was looking at, but I never ended up picking up. Um, I will say the thing about this is it is a thicker book, but the synopsis does sound like something that maybe I need to check out because this book is about Mary. Wow. Can you believe her family actually owns a Christmas tree farm? And so the thing is, it's like the family business and they're not ready to like pass the family business down to her. So she's trying to prove to herself. She's trying to prove to her family that she can take over the family business. And I guess it seems to be like two things going on where she meets someone on a dating app right but then there's also a guy who works on the christmas tree farm it says the farm's new foreman clark griffin who is a single dad say less what do you mean christmas single dad i love that okay so that's fun if you like people like talking like online um you know i think you would really enjoy this i don't really care for that kind of trope in books but if that's something that you like you can check this out. I'm definitely very interested because of the single dad aspect of it all. It's probably going to be cute small town vibes as well. My thing with this is that it's pretty thick and it's like, it's a Christmas book. Like why does a small town Christmas book need to be 
Oh my god, over 400 pages. Okay, it's literally a little bit above 400 pages. Again, the hot pink cover is divine. Maybe I'll be able to pick this up on audio. That would be nice because of, you know, how thick it is. I'll have to check on like my library apps or something and Scribd and see if this author has audiobooks. Um, but yeah, so another potential book. But again, the single dad of it all. Oh, and there's a cute dog on the cover. So, you know, if I get to it, I get to it. So for audiobooks, I only have two right now that I'm like confirmed, it's done, this is happening, like 100% I'm reading them. And one of them is probably the book that you were expecting to see on this list because like everyone and their mother is reading it. And that is A Merry Little Meet Cute by Sierra Simone. And is it Julie something? Oh my god, I'm so bad. What is her name? Pause. <laughs> It's Julie Murphy and Sierra Simone. Um, so Julie Murphy is actually the author of the book Dumpling. I haven't read that book, but I loved the Netflix movie um, for that book. And then Sierra Simone literally writes some of my favorite books of all time with the Priest trilogy. I actually have another series by her on my regular like December TBR, which I'm also gonna listen to on audio and I'm very excited for those. But anyways, A Merry Little Meet Cute, I've heard somewhat mixed things about. Um, I do have one friend who read it and was like, Kelly, I totally think you're gonna love it. Um, so this has to do with, I know that it has to do with like adult film stars. I don't know if it's one who's an actress or actor and they just end up in an adult film, but I'm so positive that that's what happens. Let me see, maybe I should do, <laughs> Maybe I should do more research on this book. Okay, yeah, so this just seems to literally be about two people where it's like the main girl is an adult film star, but then this other guy is just like a regular actor or something. Like she knows him from like him just being really popular. And I guess when they end up on set together, they start to form like a relationship and they have to be sneaky about it. Um, so I'm expecting this book to have great spice. I'm looking at you, Sierra Simone, because if there's one woman who can write spice, it is you. Um, so hopefully this is just a fun, um, you know, spicy little Christmas read. I do really like the setup. I mean, anytime I think of a book about like an adult film star, I think of The Roommate um, by Rosie Dannon, and I love that book. So hopefully I enjoy this. But this audiobook is on Scribd. Um, so if you have that um, subscription, subscription service for audiobooks you can listen to it on there so that is very exciting this will probably be like I said a quicker um hopefully nice and spicy um little read so we will see how it goes an audiobook that I just purchased because I was really excited to see that this series at least has audiobooks we have Love Light Farms by BK Borison now I have heard really good things about this book um I know it has to do with like another Christmas tree farm like I think the girl works at a Christmas tree farm. This may be fake dating friends to lovers, or I may be pulling that out of my ass. I think that that's what it is. I've just heard this book is like really sweet and charming. I think it's also cozy small town vibes. Um, so I'm not expecting it to be like really spicy or anything. I literally just think it's like a sweet wholesome romance. I think I saw someone on TikTok say that this has like a scene where like they like dance in the kitchen or like they dance and whatever and that like is the way to my heart. Like honestly if it's really well done I'll probably start crying because um, I love when couples dance in books. I just find dancing to be like the most romantic thing so I feel like I'm gonna I feel like I'm gonna like this book. I think I'm gonna hopefully find it really sweet. Again I've heard nothing but good things. I know people who have read other books by this author and they really enjoy them. So I'm excited to check out BK Boris and I actually recorded requested the third book in this little series um, on audio for NetGalley. Um, so I'm excited. I'm ready. I, I think I'm going to really enjoy this. Like, I don't know. If there are books that I'm sensing that are going to be like winner winners, it's Tis the Season for Revenge by Morgan Elizabeth and this book and then some of the KU books that I'm going to talk about. But yeah, so if you want a more probably like sweet and wholesome um, small town romance to add to your TBRs, definitely check out Love Light Farms. I also believe that even though it's like a Christmas tree farm situation, it's not like aggressively Christmas. Like I think this book takes place like around Christmas. Again, this is what I can remember. I did not do my research. 
You can always look up more info about this book, but I believe that's the situation and I like that. So I just, I don't know, I have a good feeling about this one. To the Kindle app we go for some um, KU recommendations. Um, so I am excited for these ones. A lot of these I'm really, I have high hopes for because they should just be short, spicy, fun Christmas books, which is what I want, okay? Give me a Christmas novella. I'm going to eat it up. For sure happening and probably like one of the first ones I'm going to get to is Christmas on the 13th Floor by Lee Jaquo. I think that's how you say her last name. She is very nice. I've talked to her on Instagram a little bit. Um, she's my mutual on TikTok. Very lovely. Um, her Holly Night novellas or like Holiday Night novellas. I don't know what the official name is for. I love. There are four out right now. There's a Valentine's Day one coming I believe in February but I've read The Four Leaf which is the um St. Patrick's Day one. Liberty Falls is like the 4th of July one and then Hollow's Grove is the most recent Halloween one. The Four Leaf especially I finished in like literally one sitting. I was on my bed and I could not stop reading it. I was obsessed with it and the spice is so good. Also in Hollow's Grove as well so I really like these. I think they deserve more hype, especially if you just want, like I said, short, spicy, to the point. Um, this is actually the first one that the first one that came out was this Christmas one, and this is the only one that I haven't gotten to yet. All of these um little novellas have like different tropes. Like one of them is like the Halloween one is like best friend's brother, then we have enemies to lovers, friends to lovers. This one is boss employee. Oh, sign me up. Sign me up. Sign me the fuck up. I really think that that's all you need to know. Um, and I am very excited. This is definitely one of my most anticipated ones on here. And this is another one that I'm going to predict is probably going to be a 4.5 or 5 star. Like I just know I'm going to eat it up because I've already read stuff by this author and I really enjoy it. And for a, another one that I'm really excited about, even though I haven't read anything by this author yet, they I do have a lot of books by them on my TBR. Um, and this one, when they announced it, like on their TikTok and everything, I was like, yes, let's go. This is going to be a great first read for me by this author. And that is Tangled in Tinsel by um, Trelina Pucci. I love Trelina. She's a great follow on like TikTok. If you don't follow her yet, she's very funny. Like the way that she promoted this book, she literally was like, is this going to be a literary masterpiece? No, she's like, is it going to be a short, spicy Christmas time? Yeah, um, she's very funny. She's also my mutual. Like she followed me back very quickly after I followed her on TikTok. And I was like, oh my God, hi girl. She also has a duet that is literally inspired by Romeo and Juliet, but it's like mafia and like they're in college or something that I need to read. Like I literally need to read. The first book is called Just Like Heaven. Um, We'll get to it, but I'm excited to read this one. This is a Christmas forced proximity. Why choose romance? And I'm very excited. I believe it's literally about a group of people who get snowed in at a cabin and then spicy times ensue. Yes, so this is about, this is another kind of like boss employee where it's the girl works for these guys. So again, they get snowed in, spicy times ensue. It's also a novella. I believe it's short and I'm very excited. I totally should have signed up for the arc for this, but I completely forgot, but it's fine. It literally comes out. I think at the time of this video, if it doesn't come out like this week, it comes out very soon. It literally comes out end of November, maybe even like November 24th or something. So um, definitely, again, if you like a Y choose, which I do, I love Y chooses, um, totally check this one out. Then another novella, I believe this is a novella from an author who I definitely need to read, um, like who I need to read more from. We have The Mistletoe Bet by Marin Moore. Um, Marin is also my mutual on Instagram and TikTok. She is so nice. Like she's literally so sweet and like supportive. I love her. So this is her new holiday novella. Do I know what this is about? No, I do not. Let's see. Okay. It's about a girl going back to her small town uh, when she runs into her childhood crush and her brother's best friend. So if you like those tropes, there you go. Again, I believe it's nice and short, which is good. I don't know when it comes out. When does it come out? I don't think this one's out yet. Or maybe it is out. It actually might be out. Ignore me. Ignore me. One of the reasons why I'm really excited for this, and I'll definitely be checking it out, is because Marin is actually one of the authors of Jingle Wars. But on Jingle Wars, she used a different pen name. 
I don't know why, but she did. Um, cause Jingle Wars has two authors and again, one of the names, I think Veronica Roth is her, but for some reason on Jingle Wars, she didn't go under Marin Moore. Um, now there is a new version of Jingle Wars with like a really pretty cover that has her name on it. But I, it, it was funny when she posted on her Instagram and was like, oh, Jingle Wars has a new special edition because of its anniversary, blah, blah, blah. I was like, I was like, I commented, I was like, I love this book. I didn't know this book was by you. Um, so I am happy that I have read Marin Moore before and I really enjoyed it. And she writes great spice. So I, because Jingle Wars has really good spice in it. So I'm expecting this to have good spice in it as well. Um, and I'm just really excited to check this out. The cover is also adorable. And then we have two spicy, again, should be nice and short, um, Christmas books that I found on KU, like I was, br I was browsing. Well, one of them I saw someone post on Instagram and I was like, oh, that sounds good. I should add that to my TBR. And this other one I literally found while browsing KU. So that first one is 25 Reasons to Hate Christmas and Cowboys, a small holiday romance. And this is by um, L. Thorpe. Now, I believe L. Thorpe writes really spicy books. Um, I know she has a whole series of like spicy cowboys that like I am definitely excited for. I mean, you had me at cowboys. I don't know what this book is about, but I feel like the title just gives it away. I am hoping for a spicy good time with cowboys. You guys know I'm still in my cowboy romance era. I mean, if you didn't know, I, I am in a deep, deep cowboy romance era. And of course I had to find spicy cowboys. Like, of course I had to find a spicy cowboy book. So like, honestly, I feel like this is gonna be like a definite read for me like I feel like there's no way oh it's also a novella according to Kindle it's like it's short okay great see look at me just finding all the short and spicy wrecks for you you're welcome you're welcome I don't know this is another one that unless it's like super cringy because again I've never read anything by this author before but I do have mutuals who have read stuff by this author and really enjoyed it this is smelling like it could be a potential winner okay, and then finally another book that is giving me spicy Christmas this is this may be a debut book from an author I also know friends who read it as an arc and they said you know they really enjoyed it this is called Slay You'll Stay by Michelle Michelle Gary Flackis I mean it has a really cute cartoon cover but apparently it's one of those situations where it has a cute cartoon cover but there is a good amount of spice in it um and I mean again cowboy I better get cowboy vibes. You better not put a cowboy on this cover, a man in a cowboy hat, and I don't get strong cowboy vibes. This book, uh, again, like I said, I know people who read it as an arc thought it was really, you know, solid. Um, I think it comes out like any day now. Definitely also comes out in November. What is this book about? Oh, great, a horse ranch in Montana. It's giving very Devony Perry. Um, I know Devony Perry, side note, has like a whole Christmas novella collection as well. Or it's like under Will and Ash. Do I want to read those? I don't know. We'll put those on the maybe list. But anyways, since we're bringing up Devony Perry. Okay, so this book is just giving me like they have to end up working together on this ranch um, to save the ranch. Ooh, so that's cute. I'm sure it's probably like an opposites attract kind of situation. A girl who like is down on her luck. You know the tropes. You know the tropes. As soon as I saw someone post this on Instagram and I saw the cover, I was like, sold. <laughs> Say less. Say less. Oh, and also, you can't even see my sweatshirt. Why did I put on this sweater? It's not a sweatshirt. But it has a unicorn. Yay! Your girl loves unicorns. I feel like that's a very obvious thing for me to say. Fun fact, did you guys know that I am Ariana Grande's Christmas EP's like number one fan? It is literally my favorite thing to ever exist. She said, you want spicy Christmas? I'm gonna give you a spicy Christmas. I don't wanna get copyrighted. Move.